Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so Karma Kamash and Jimmy London. I'm gonna start by saying all praise Yah by Shimmy Hawa Shai. Double honors unto elders of GMS and honors that led to the brethren and the Hawis and Bawis teaching his truth and sincerity. Okay, um, just gonna get into on a few articles that you know that have been happening for, for the last few days. You know, throughout this week. You know, you know, adding on to um, my last video about you know the the America. America and, and Russia, man. Okay, because you know, events have unfolded, man. Okay, you know, everyone should know what's going on between what's well, happening in Ukraine at the moment. You know, see, crime, Crimea is, you know, officially Russian now. Okay, so Putin's made his move now, and you know, it's, it's, it's uh, up to the West, okay, up to the EU and, and America. To, to make the next move, man. Okay, because this this is just gonna escalate. Okay, and you know, you know, the brothers brothers know where you know all this is gonna lead to. You know, but you know we we have to wait day by day to see how how it unfolds, man. Okay. So you know, you know, there's a couple of different articles in there towards the end. You know, Mark of the Beast. You know, there's an article on that. Okay, and 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 the and the economic uh, collapse, man. Okay, but you know we're gonna start off here, man. Okay, uh, this is from the Common Sense Show dot com. Okay, uh, well, you see the title: The Course of World War Three. Okay. Oh, it's lucky. All right. And it starts to read here. It says the world sits upon the precipice of World War Three. The programs are printed and the players have been identified. The common global conflict is divided into two camps. The BRIC nations and the USA and her allies, both sides are preparing to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Okay, the following is a breakdown of the relative strengths of each side and a discussion about the likely course of events given the relatively relative military strengths on each side. Okay, so you know this is gonna go into a breakdown of, of, of the numbers really okay so I just wanted to show you some of the some of the numbers that are being thrown out there okay it says um comparative conventional military strength between BRIC nations and the and US allies the United States and her allies have a decided advantage of quick strike long-range battlefield capabilities because of, su of superior aircraft and carrier strike capabilities the BRIC nations have an advantage with manpower, rocket propelled weapons and tanks. The USA and her allies cannot win a sustained battlefield campaign because of, of the attrition factor. The Chinese have demonstrated the ability to negate the United States Navy technological advances through the use of killer satellites. Okay, so there's certain tech that, you know, China, Russia, they, they've developed, you know, to get around certain aspects of of the West's military because like I said they're very heavy in the West is very heavy in their naval forces and in their in their air forces okay they've got a lot of planes and a lot of boats okay with uh, you know specific capabilities okay but they've de developed technologies that can get around that without having to compete with the West you know like for like okay so you know they're, they're in turn sp spending less money in trying to you know get around these things or in the spend loads of money on, on developing boats and planes man okay it says nuclear submarines are often looked at as a great equalizer no matter who is winning on the ground in the air and on the surface of the oceans the submarine force has the capability to rain down unimaginable destruction upon their enemy in the case of submarines the USA and her allies are matched by their brick counterparts most subs carrying eight nuclear missiles each capable of destroying a major city okay so they both got nuclear subs, man. Okay, on the on the, on the even basis, roughly. Okay, the USA presumably has superior evasive techniques and therefore will survive sub killer strategies with greater frequency than, than their brick adversaries. Okay, so for the United States and our allies to win a conventional war, a quick strike surprise engagement is critical to the success of these forces. The BRICs would have an advantage in a longer prolonged conflict. This is particularly true when one considers that if time permitted, the, Chin the Chinese have bragged that they could put 100 million men on a battlefield, okay? And you all know there's a lot of people in China, okay? 
So it's following the teachings of Sun Tzu in the famous The Art of War, it is critical that the British nations be brought to the battlefield of choice by the USA for a quick and decisive engagement. Okay, well, the, the choice isn't really there to, there to be made, to be, to be fair, okay? You know, the scriptures tell you that, you know, Armageddon, okay, which is, which is the Lord's judgment, okay, is going to be in that Middle Eastern area, okay? So that That is the designated spot, okay? So that's neither here nor there, okay? That's, that's smack, smack banging between the two of them, okay? Probably favours, you know, China and Russia a bit more, you know. But you know, it's not it's not by choice, man. The Lord is bringing them there for their judgment. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the engagement is likely to be naval and involve aircraft. This plays to the advantage of the USA, whose superior long range strike capability is enhanced by the superior aircraft carriers. Okay, but Russia, you know, I've got these missiles called the Sun, Sun, what, Sun burn missiles or the Onyx, I think that one is called. Okay, which is able, one rocket is able to take out uh, one of them aircraft carriers, man. You know, so they don't need a plane or, or another boat to take it out. Okay, they just need one rocket. Okay, that's capable of destroying one of those. You know, I believe the Iranians have them also. Okay. Uh, so the USA forces would likely engage in a dis distracting land engagement first to hold the maximum number of forces. The land strike, a first strike, will, will be directed at Syria. Okay, so this is, this is you know, playing it strategically, okay? And like I said, the conflict is going to be in the, in the Middle East and Syria is, 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 what is, is there. Okay, so given the present crisis, the Russians would have to decide on choosing between protecting its eastern border with NATO forces or launching an offensive directed at protecting Syria. The Russians will choose self defense, well, according to this guy. Okay, the timing of the term, you know, I mean, because uh, Russia can strike uh, an EU nation, man. No, most likely London, because that, that's on its list of, of a you know, strategic move. Okay, to, to attack London, you know, so, the, you know, Russia has its strategic music too, man, okay, so the Russians, okay, the, the time of the American invasion of Syria will take place when a sufficient number of American naval vessels are present in the Black Sea to checkmate the Russia military builder, okay, in Crimea which would serve as a staging area for military action in Syria. At the end of the day, once, Ru once the American Navy has moved the position of, of the Baltic states, Russia will be powerless to prevent a US takeover of Syria. Okay, so this is this is according to this guy. Okay. It says once the US occupies Syria, Russia will be pow powerless to intervene on behalf of America's next target, Iran. Because the US medium range missiles batteries will prevent the Russian army from moving south into the region. With Russia out of the way, Iran will capit capitulate and stop selling oil for gold to the BRIC nations and the petrodollar will be preserved. Iran will agree to control uh, agree to the control of their oil fields by the US to avoid an invasion. And I, I personally I couldn't see that happening. You know, personally. Since the Iranians hate you, <laughs> okay, so they they will capitulate because nobody will come to their rescue. Uh, I don't know if Russia will be, be that concerned, man. I mean, you know, Iran can Iran can do things, man. They're, you know, they they they're, they're dismissing Iran, man, but Iran can do things, man. Okay, Iran can do things, all right. So uh, what about India, India and China? Won't they move to protect Iran and thus erode the petrodollar? Not exactly, as China and India will have their hands full. Okay, this guy knows everything, man. The naval strike of 
of I speak will be directed at China before the commencement of hostilities. China will be given a short time to stand down or face destruction. So you know, this this is still kind of from a point of view like America is the bad boy. You could just go into anywhere and just destroy somebody, man. Okay, it's, it's, it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be like that this time, right, man? Okay, America is not as mighty as you know the world thinks it is, man. Okay, these other nations have been built up to to a level now where they can take. They can take America, man. Okay, collectively they can take America, right? Or we'll do some do some serious damage to it, man. Because I I haven't heard no no attacks on 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 America, so man, they're not they're not talking about that. Okay, they're still thinking that they can't be touched. Okay, the scripture tells you, man, that the weak say that I am strong, man. These nations have become stronger, and America has become weaker. Okay. Uh, or face destruction by the U.S. submarines and the long-range capabilities of U.S. carriers. It is only it is only necessary to target China's major cities to force cap, uh, capitulation. This strategy would free the disenchanted Chinese living in the rebellious outlying provinces to launch a revolution against Beijing. It is also rumored that the U.S. does have space-based nuclear weapons. If this is the case, this conflict could be over in the early morning of hours of the first day. The Chinese submarine force could be capable of taking out several US cities, however their submarines alone will not change the outcome. India will be held back in check by Pakistan and her nuclear weapons. Why, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, because. Pakistan don't like America either. Okay, I mean, I say allies that are listed down as American allies or, or NATO allies, man. You know, at at this time, man, or at that time, people people are going to be switching sides, man. Okay, people are going to be switching sides. They ain't going to be down off America. You know, at, at the end of all this, America is not going to have no friends. Okay, it ain't going to have no allies, man. It might start off with them, but it's not going to end that way. They're going to switch sides. Okay, but they're making it seem like America has the power to pin down everybody and that it, it wouldn't be hard for America to to defeat, you know, defeating China in one day. Come on, man. Just 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 because you have the ability to destroy a nation, uh, destroy a city. So the Chinese have, have, have the ability to destroy a city, man. And fuck your shit up. Okay, this, this war, this war ain't gonna be uh, as easy as you may think it is, man. Okay, you might you might escape, you know, in World War World War Two and that with, with little casualties, man. Oh, you know, and, you, and your soul, you know, in, in intact. Okay, but this this ain't this ain't the same, man. This ain't the same. They all got nukes, okay. They all can shoot on you. Just because you got nukes and you you think people are scared of you, man. These guys ain't scared of you no more. They they they'll go, they'll put they'll put their money where their mouth is, man, and they'll, and they'll risk it just to fuck you up, okay. So subsequently, India will never enter the fight. U.S. forces in Afghanistan could block a Russian invasion of Pakistan from the north. It is clear that the U.S.A. and her allies will decisively defeat the BRIC nations in a conventional war, so long as it is a short conflict. Okay, but how they how they're going about it is that it will be a short conflict because try because uh, America can do this, this, and this. Okay, but well, it's not going to work that way. Okay, it, 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 it may be ready if there's a short conflict, but you, you, America still ain't gonna win, <laughs> regardless of how long it lasts. Okay, so however, there is one game-changing strategy the BRICS won. They already got one option <laughs> that the BRICS could employ. If the BRICS